How to Start Jogging After 50 Jogging is one of the easier physical activities to get into, whatever your age. Nevertheless, people in their 50s may be hesitant to start due to the strain it may place on the joints and body in general. If this is you, follow this video on how to start jogging after 50 and reap its health benefits. 1. Talk to your doctor first. Anyone over the age of 50 should first see their physician before starting any strenuous physical activity or exercise regimen. Your doctor knows your medical history and current conditions, as well as any medications you are taking. If you have health issues like high blood pressure or diabetes, your doctor may suggest a modified jogging regimen. Additionally, you may also have to be gentler on your body or even wear special gear such as knee supports if you have conditions like osteoporosis, rheumatism, or joint injuries. In any case, it's best to let your doctor know that you plan to start jogging and listen to any concerns they might have. 2. Choose good jogging shoes. Wearing the right footwear is key. The right pair can help you make the most out of your run while lowering the risk of injuries. Proper fitting shoes also correct your foot placement on the ground and decrease the impact on knee joints. Take the time to research and invest in a quality pair. 3. Make a game plan Before getting started, it's a good idea to decide on some important details. Figure out various routes you can take at a local park or around the neighborhood. Make sure it is a safe and easy path. In addition, plan your time so you can jog three to four times per week for optimal results. 4. Choose and execute a specific strategy. A great strategy for joggers over 50 is a walk-jog program. This simply involves intermittent walking and jogging to help build your endurance and pace without straining your body too much. Start with a fast-paced walk for about five minutes, jog for two to four minutes, then slow down to a brisk walk for three minutes. Repeat this three to four times. Finally, you can cool down by leisurely walking for about five minutes. 5. Eventually increase your jogging time. As you jog more and more, you can try to increase your jogging time and reduce your walking time. An additional 10 to 20 seconds is fine, as is two minutes depending on your endurance and how your body responds to the increase in jog time. Remember that the decision is up to you, and you'll know if your body is comfortable with the changes. If not, it's perfectly okay to stay with the same walk-jog time until you feel ready to increase the intensity. It may take as long as three weeks to achieve longer jog times without having to slow down to a walk, but this is totally fine. Be patient and don't push yourself too hard. It's better to continually exercise than risk injuries due to a premature increase in intensity. 6. Know your limits. If you want to increase your mileage, do so within the limits of 10% a week. Running more than this additional amount can bring about injuries or burnout, which are not good scenarios for anyone, much less people over 50. Furthermore, if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or other conditions, your doctor may have cautioned you about overexerting yourself. These steps on how to start jogging after 50 can serve as your guide to getting your physical activity on track. Though you may have qualms about starting, think of the positive effects jogging can have on your weight, fitness, and energy levels. Keep in mind that it's never too late to start. So what are you waiting for? Try out those jogging shoes now.